Alright, so here's the second video. Um, I tried to make things as simple as I can. I may have sounded a little confusing last video, but I'll try better this time. Uh, so there's some things that I missed to tell you. Um, just some simple things here. Like moving an object, you click the object so it goes yellow. You right click, and you go down here, it says move. So you move it wherever you want, it'll show where it was before, and then this is where it's going to go now. So just click it right there. So now it's moved. Um, so we'll unselect that. And to sometimes it's a problem when you have a lot of things selected. So now I pretty much I've selected everything on the map here, um, and I don't want to click every single one to unselect it all. Um, sometimes it can be like a hundred things, and it's hard to unselect them. So there's a thing right up here. It says unselect all. Boom. Now everything's unselected. You don't have anything, and you could just do whatever you want from there. Um, so. Another thing you can do with objects, I'm going to show you here. I'm going to move this building closer to where you start. And I'm going to elevate it. So with any object you put on this map that you make, you can elevate it. You can put them to whatever height you want, and you can also uh, tilt it to whatever degree you want. So. Uh, I could, it normally starts here, I can make it up here, so that high above the ground, and I can also tilt it like that, do whatever I want with it, pretty much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to elevate this, this whole building area. And to do that, you go into the item attributes on the left side there, and you go to Z, 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 whatever you want to call it, and right here for the number you put whatever height you want so I'm gonna say 20 I'm not sure if it's feet or meters but you'll see actually you know I'm gonna go 50 so right now that building is at 50 feet or meters and from the top view here that it gives you though you can't tell so to go into a view where you can see that you go right up to the top here there are these three buttons press the one on the right side it says 3d wireframe you click that and it'll give you a 3d view of the object now this green line right here that is the ground and this here is the building now this is a side view side 3d view and to rotate and look at this from all angles you use insert the buttons on your keyboard insert delete home and end home and end move things up and down so you get an aerial view and underneath whatever and see the ground is a grid well almost a grid and then insert and delete to rotate it around like that so you get a full view of everything um, so we're just going to click 3D wireframe again to go back to the regular view. Now, I'm going to move the building over there. And I'm going to I'm going to show this building tilted. So we're going to go back into item attributes and below Z Z you go into facing here. This this box and the heading north that's the degree at which it's uh, set north whatever um, and the pitch 90 degrees up you say I'm gonna say 45 degrees so I write 45 in there and right now it's at a 45 degree angle now you can't really tell from the top view here you can see it's a little bit different than it was before so we're going to go to 3D wireframe and you're going to look at it now and you can see it's tilted 45 degrees. Um, right now you can see it's below the ground level so if I were to be standing right here in the game watching this it would be half inside the ground half out so what you can do 
is you can go back into item attributes and you could raise the height even more so we'll say 70 and we'll see if that's out of the ground and it's still in the ground a little bit but that's fine so that's that and now I'm going to show you people going to waypoint so I'm still going to use this waypoint right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert so I press insert for insert mode and I'm going to click over here I want to put people let's just say the 10th mountain teammate again uh, we're gonna he's right now he's facing north and you know just to make things easier make him look towards the waypoint so he starts walking that way so we're gonna do that and I'm gonna copy and paste him so we have a lot of guys here okay so now I'm gonna select all these guys and I'm gonna go in so now each and every one of them selected I'm gonna go into item attributes and I'm gonna tell them remember this we go to waypoints list and we're telling them to go to heli hover so we're gonna tell them to go to that waypoint at this point the helicopter is still gonna go there so but these guys are gonna go there as well and what I'm gonna do actually we'll just leave it like that uh, so right when the game starts these guys are gonna start walking towards the waypoint and actually that's all I'm gonna show for now let's just watch what it looks like in game so we're gonna go to file save and export with stats and we'll start the game single player start a map Alright, so that's the whole building area turned sideways. I hope you see that. And these guys right there, those are the guys that are walking towards the waypoint right now. That I told them to. They're not running because they're lazy, but whatever. And there's a helicopter taking off now, going to the waypoint. And the waypoint is right there, so it stopped. So now you see pretty much what I've done there and those guys have re reached the waypoint as well now the reason why the helicopter and those guys aren't at the exact same spot is because of the radius that I gave to that circle the waypoint so they could stop anywhere inside that circle so I'd be standing in the center right about now I guess and they just got to the outside of the circle and stopped because technically they are at the waypoint 